Shalom, this is Netanyahu from the Holy Camp. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kakudash, the Blonde City of Apostles, the Elders of Great Millstone, the Teaching Rule, all of them, many other things, and peace of salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad for winds of earth out there in the highways of hedges and pushes truth and sincerity. Shalom. So, as the article says here, 130 countries race towards CBDC system with most already in advanced phase research. All right, so what well, we've been talking about concerning Revelations chapter 13, verse 16, the MOTB, all right, which we call it, you know, uh, the abbreviation, we would say, because now, you know, it's been some time, you, you know, we also said that there's going to be a day where speaking of these scriptures are going to be a taboo concerning the Kharagma, all right, and, you know, a lot of our channels been taken down because of it, so... That's why we call it the MOTB. Uh, as you can look in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, if you read that, you know, the mark, right? This is what's really going down right now. <clears throat> as it says right here, 130 countries race towards CBDC systems with with both, uh, with both most already in advanced phase research. So we are coming very, very close to this whole system being broken down. All right. And... A new system being established, which a lot of people are talking about now being uh, MOTB. All right, I'm going to show you really quick. Hold on. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find it. Um, even on the brother's page, I couldn't find it, you know, and uh, it seems like everybody's talking about it now because they see that these things that, you know, you know, starting with the other apostles of Great Millstone on down have been talking about. All right. Uh, we've been talking about this, you know, the 100% truth. We don't sugarcoat anything down. You know, there's going to be a time where you're not going to hear us speak upon this anymore because of the famine of the word. All right. So that's why it's very important to take heed to what is actually being said concerning this. All right. From uh, the service of prophets of the Heavenly Father. And not all these uh, other bugged out people out here in this world because they are changing up the doctrines and giving it to change. All right, they took the bag. All right. Uh, so it says here, the majority of countries are now accelerating towards building their central bank digital currency, CBDC systems. And this is also going into the BRICS, you know, and um, it's you could totally see that it's all being controlled. The whole narrative never changed from these uh, so-called elites. All right, to just make it seem like you have an option, you know, causing more confusion and so on and so on. All right, as it reads here, it says most of them are already nearing the finish line, you see, according to new new research. A report from the D.C.-based think tank Atlantic Council says that 130 countries representing 98% of the world's gross dom uh, domestic product, GPT, uh, GDP, are exploring a CBDC up from only 35 countries that were considering the CBDC in May 2022, which was like three years ago. A new high of 64 nations are now in an advanced phase of exploration, development, pilot of, or launch of a CBDC system that countries include 19 of the G20 nations. The Atlantic Council says that the U.S. is something of an ex uh, exception to the trend with the de development of retail CBDC currently stalled, though progress in being made with the bank-to-bank -bank CBDC. And this is just another way to make it seem like, you know, it's this and that. But this is going to be fully implemented. All right. Rather people believe it or not. It says here, however, other G7 banks, including the Bank of England and the Bank of Japan, are developing CBDC uh, prototypes. And it's kind of funny. You, you, you can even see that even Japan is down with it. All these other uh, nations are all in cahoots with one another. All right. Because this whole vibration right now is under the vibration of Satan. All right. And who is the main culprit for all that? Esau Edom. Okay, he is the, the, the wicked that is upon his earth and everyone else is uh, 
trying to eat with them, all right? Now it says right here, developing CBDC prototypes and consulting the public and private sector of uh, privacy and financial stability issues. The U.S. is, however, moving forward on wholesale bank-to-bank -bank CBDC since Russia invasion of Ukraine and the G7 sanctions respond response. Wholesale CBDC development have doubled. There are currently 12 cross-border uh, uh, wholesale CBDC projects. The report says that over 20 countries will begin taking steps to pilot their like, yeah. CBDC, uh, CBDCs this year. India, Brazil, both BRICS nations, you see, and plan to launch their systems in 2024. I'm making a video. Peter uh, Goetler, president of uh, Cato Institution, recently issued a warmer uh, warning about the rise of CBDC and their potential to both restrict freedom and give governments and central banks too much power. Right. And I was looking, I was looking up some things. Let me see. Um, Let's see here. Um, let me show you serve. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see. Um, guys, the society. I was right over here. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Five reasons why you should go cashless in 2023. Uh, you know, there was there was something somewhere I was. Slakia, bear with me for a moment. Uh, where are you? I think it was this one right here. Hey, come on now. <sighs> Satan is, is busy, man. Yeah, this is this was it. It says here, cash is society means no cash. Zero, it does not mean mostly cash, blah, 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 blah. Cash society means no more tuck away cash for those preparing to leave domestic violence. No more purchase of marketplace unless you want to risk bank transfer fraud. No more garage sales. No more cash donations to hungry homeless. You pass. Uh, no more cash slipped into the hands of child of a child from their grandparents no more money in birth cards no more piggy banks and tooth fairy for your child which is a demonic as hell as well fucking customs of men right no more uh selling bits and pieces for your home that you that you no longer want need for a bit of cash in return less choices of their of where you purchase based on affordability. What Cash Society does guarantee bank have full control of every single cent you own, which is true. Every transaction you make is recorded. All your movements and actions are traceable. Access to your money can be blocked at the click of a button when if banks need clarifications from you, which you could take weeks a hundred questions answered and 500 passwords uh so on and so on right so it says here if you here's what you can do blah 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 blah, blah, blah. so all right so that's that's how that's how it would be man you know, but it's going to be a lot worse than that. Esau wants to be like the most high. 
All right. So we're just going to go right into this lesson. All right. And, and that we are not to take. All right. We are not to take the MOTB. We're not to accept the CBDC, which is the MOTB. It's just another way of them calling it something other than what it really is. So it says here in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Because right now it's just optional, optional, optional to take. You have people that are already using it right now. There was a video that I saw also. I wanted to download it, but, you know, as you click off uh, social media and you click back onto it, it gets uh, swept away with all the other garbage that be coming on along your page, right? So, as it says here in Revelation chapter 13, 13 verse 16 because this this is going to be a point where it's going to be made mandatory for everyone because once that money is being brought uh to which is already being brought to a low but once it's going to be taken out the picture people are going to have to submit onto this new uh cash cashless society that they're bringing in and that is pretty much the time where these edomites are going to be filling their belly but the Most High is going to put a stop to all that. So it says here, And he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. Right? So the word here, uh, mark, is actually a physical mark that they're going to insert within you, in your hand, your left hand or your right hand or your, your forehead, right? It doesn't matter where. You can accept it in your big toe. But if you accept it, that is going to be on to your own destruction, right? So in society, it doesn't matter if who you are, if you're small or great in the society, right? From being um, a movie star to being a bum, okay? Rich and poor, right? It doesn't matter. You're a star, you, you're poor, you're um, rich, you know, you're, uh, to somebody that nobody knows you, so on and so on, free or in bond, like, you know. It doesn't matter who you are. They're going to make it mandatory for everyone to take. It doesn't matter who you are in society, right? And it says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, the forehead is talking about a, a brain chip, which Neuralink is uh, into uh, testing people right now. It's what's they already been testing on people already. Don't be fooled by Satan, all right? He's busy. He's, every day he's doing something. So it says here in Revelation chapter 13, verse six, uh, 17 now, it says, And that no man might buy or sell. You see, so just like that article said, once you accept this, this system, you're not going to be able to have the freedoms like you used to have. All of them are going to be taken away. And if you were to say anything that these people deem to be unworthy, they could shut, they could shut you off. You're pretty much cut off from this system. Okay. <clears throat> Showing you that it's actual a physical mark. Because it says here, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that hath the mark. Now, if we go into the word mark, which is a Greek word, it goes in the charagma. Right? Strong's G, 5480. Charagma. 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 Right, which we're going to go into the biblical usage. A stamp, an imprint, mark, right? A mark, a stamp, or a mark branded upon a horse, right? So this device has been prophesied about, what, two, two three thousand years ago uh, by uh, John the Revelator on the island of Patmos, okay, that this was going to occur. The Heavenly Father gave him this vision that this is going to occur. Okay? And as you can see today, that is exactly what it is. It is actually a, a device that it brands you as being, what? A perpetual slave. That they can own you. Okay? Just like how they brand a horse. Now, if you go further into the word in the etymology of Kharagma, it's going, if you go right here to the root word, etymology, we're going to go into the word charax. Strong's G, 5482, charax. Charax. Right? 
which the word harax in the biblical usage, a pale or stake, a palisade, right? So this is actually the device that they're going to use to implant that device to insert. So a pale or a stake is like a it's like a as a shape of that what they um, inject. I can't say the N E E D L E S word, but that is the devices that they are going to use. It's the same shape, just like how you at the end where you chip out these uh, stones or whatever wood to carve out an image. All right. And this device that they're going to use is, is the device that they're going to use to insert this M-A-R-K. All right. Now, like, we're going to go further into the etymology, the root word etymology, which is going to go into the word grafo. Strong's G, 1125. Grafo. Right. Grafo. And it goes into the biblical usage. Now, I usually just go straight to the point, right, because it says here in the D, to write to one by writing written epistle to give information direction. So it actually Italian grafo is actually the 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 C H I P that is going to be inserted in you. Alright, so John the Revelator on the island of Patmos was describing exactly what they're going to use to insert into you. And and what else what what information or direction is given on the CHIP is exactly is right there for you because what they want to do is they want to put your address there, your birth date, uh, where you were born, how old you are, what blood type, right? Your health insurance, your bank information, everything there. So this is spot on showing that this is actually a physical device that they want to insert within you. Okay, and the CBDC it goes along right with it. Okay, it goes along right with it. Step by step, right? Step by step, man. It's not a physical it's not a it's not a spiritual mark, it is a physical mark. Okay, so it says here, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here's a wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 603 score 6 and 6, which is 666, right? But the thing is, if you're going to take and accept, okay, this is what's going to happen to you. Now, how do you go to the next chapter on this? Uh, let's see, next chapter, okay. <laughs> the lamb at 144,000, man, hey. Yaratazah, the wheel of the men, you know. Yaratazah, right? So this is uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, and this is really why we continue to uh, preach and, and, and teach our, unto our people what not to do, man. And this is one of the main ones. Do not accept the mark of the beast, man, okay? Because it will get you destroyed. This is Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. The third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, right, being contrary to the law, statutes, commandments, you willfully going against the Most High, right, by by being okay with the, with these Sodomites and these Gomorrites, okay, and say it's okay for a man to be with a man, that is you worshiping the image of the beast. This is their image that they want to create. Okay, their ways, their philosophies, right? That's going to get you destroyed as well. Yeah? And it says right here, and receiving his mark in his forehead or in his hand. So it says right here, if anybody does this, this is what's going to happen to you. Right, you, you accept it. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indigna indignation. It's like it. So the, the Heavenly Father is going to come with pure wrath, right? And he should be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb. Okay, so when you accept the take the MOTB, right, the mark, this is, this is what's going to happen to you, man. 
the Lord is going to destroy you with a sword destruction. You're going to come cruel both with wrath and fierce anger. As it says here in Revelation chapter 13 verse 9. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel both with wrath and fierce anger. Right? His indignation, which is righteous anger. Why? Because you have chosen to worship and to be uh, um, and a perpetual slave unto Esau. You want you wanna you rather right save yourself in this world than to be faithful unto the heavenly father. You want to be faithful unto a wicked degenerate base man upon this earth that's more violent than earth within itself than to be patient, than to be uh willing to give your life up for what is right. The Heavenly Father is going to destroy you with a heavy judgment when, once you make that choice to be on the other side, man. And those that think that you could ride in the middle, you, 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 you're going to be split in one piece, two pieces, man. You can be on both sides, yeah. Most sides not playing with that. You can't sit and eat at a table with Satan and then think you're going to eat with the table of the Lord, man. It ain't happening, man. That's why he says... Uh, he's coming uh, both with wrath, uh, uh, cruel with both, uh, both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate because Heavenly Father is going to destroy all of America, man, with fire, man, and brimstone in the presence of the angels and the Lamb. And he should destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Okay? Because the Lord is going to destroy America with nuclear missiles, man. That's why he's created the, the, the Smith, okay, which is the modern day scientist, to to create the destroyer, man, which is the ICBM missiles, man. See, a lot of people, y'all laughing and talking all these uh, things concerning the men of the Lord, man, because you are given the understanding, but when that day come, you're going to realize that you was, you was off, man, and you're going to get offed. Okay. Most eyes not with all that nonsense, man. Now it says here in Revelation chapter fourteen. Uh, let me see. It was fourteen, verse eleven, and the smoke of their torment of uh, ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark. Of his name. So you're going to be burnt up. And you're going to feel every part of yourself. Go along right with it man. And you know. A lot of our people think it's just going to be a quick death. And you're just gone. But nah. Not with the Heavenly Father. You're going to be within that fire man. And you're going to keep yourself. Your, not yourself. <laughs> keep your uh, spirit within that body man. Yeah. I wouldn't even want to try to put myself there, man. You know what this is, man. You know, Lord have mercy upon me as well. You know. And and for those that don't consider, man, you, you got something else coming, man. All right, because the whole earth is going to be tried. The whole earth is going to be tried, man. This is Revelation chapter 3, and this is the last one. Verse 10, and it reads, because I was kept the word of my patience, right? You continue to be faithful because patience goes into suffering. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. The Lord is going to keep us from uh, taking the MOTB, okay? The C of man, the C-H-I-P, man. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So everyone's going to be tried, man. Everyone's going to be tried. All right. So continue to be faithful unto the Heavenly Father. How about Shemal Shai? Because this is what he says. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Because, you know, once you're given this wisdom, knowledge, understanding these scriptures, you know, and as you grow in this truth, hold on to what you have learned, man. Because we have the victory now. It's just that we have to endure to the end, and the same shall be saved. 
All right, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Makapadash, Double Honor City Apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and well, among many other things, and peace of citations to the elect that scatter abroad, for one's earth, pushing truth and sincerity, Shalom.